Hey, Demon's Draw here, and today I'm doing the black and white challenge. So I start by selecting a color palette that I want to use for my drawing, and we're putting all the colors on my screen, and blurring them. Uh, I chose my favorite color palette, which is blue, pink, and purple. Then I switch my screen to black and white, and I removed the color wheel at the bottom left, so I wouldn't see what color I picked. Then I started sketching what I wanted to draw, which was a portrait of an elf, because I draw elves. And well, it's gonna be mostly skin and with the colors I picked, it's not gonna look very human. Now, I don't really know what happened to my style in this drawing. Like, the eyes don't feel like me. Uh, the mouth is weird, the face is basically weird. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I basically decided to do this challenge because I wanted to experiment with the colors. So I just decided that it was okay that the art in itself, like the anatomy and the proportions were not completely right. I made some choices, basically. And yes, the Thing I really need to do more is flip my canvas. I did it uh, during the sketching process, but I didn't do it at all while I was painting, which made the drawing uh, a bit lopsided. And I switched it after I stopped recording at the very end, and I was uh, I, sorry, <laughs> I realized that the face was not at all symmetrical, like the jawline. Was a skew. But it's fine. That was not the point of the challenge. I did try to spend some time on the sketch. As I said in my previous video, uh, sketching is actually what makes uh, the drawing. So I spent the extra minutes to make sure the proportions were okay, and well, I didn't use... I don't know what I did, how I made the proportions not okay in the end, but I did st uh, spend my time on the sketch and that's uh, already good. Then I brought my color palette and the screen, I lowered the opacity of my sketch, and I started filling my base colors. And well, I didn't draw the flowers, uh, the flower crown right away. Uh, so basically, there was skin and hair. Now I made sure to not take the lighter's color for the skin because I really wanted to add some highlights. And I took another mid tone for the hair. Now since I couldn't really see the colors, and I swear I do, didn't remember where they were in the little palette I made, so I basically had to focus on contrast and uh, not putting similar tones to next to each other, not tones, values, values. And while well, I'm not very used to drawing in black and white, and uh, well, it is a bit weird to have my whole screen in black and white, not being able to see the colors. But in the end, I got accustomed to it, and well, I did my painting process as I usually do. I started with adding some shadows with then some highlights and I blended them blended them a bit with the textured blending tool. Uh, 
I really try to focus on the different planes of the face and uh, not hesitate to make my brush smaller so I could get into details like in the nose and the eye sockets. And when I was pretty happy with how the skin looked, I started sketching in the eyes. I mean, not sketching, I drew in the eyes, starting with the eyelashes. And I copy pasted them because I did not feel like drawing them twice. Then I colored in the white of the eye, shaded it, and um, adding the pupils, irises. Why am I switching words in my head? I decided to make the irises a pretty dark color. Um, once again, to add contrast, I usually make them very bright and saturated, but there is no saturation in black and white, so I couldn't really know uh, what the saturation was. So I just picked a dark color, but not as dark as the eyelashes, but darker than the skin tone and the hair color. I experimented a bit in this drawing. This is, well, not at all my usual drawing process. Like, right now I'm adding some highlights in the eyelashes. I literally never do that. I added a bright spot of color, well, not color, but you know, in the middle of the eye instead of the pupil. So, yeah, this is not how I usually draw or even paint when I do, which is not that often, but uh, yeah, in the end this was kind of the point of doing this challenge, well I really wanted to see what I could do with the colors. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with the result honestly, uh, the next time I try this, I will make sure to have proper proportions uh, of my, in my face, I mean the face that I'm drawing. But for a first try, uh, I'm really happy with it. And I was just really having fun while drawing this, like I didn't really see the time pass. It's just enjoying myself. And uh, yeah, I'm finally adding in the mouth, which is kind of an important part in a face. <laughs> uh, I don't really like drawing mouths, I guess, which might be why I often leave it uh, kind of for last when I paint. And while well, I'm really not happy with this mouth in particular, uh, the shape of it, I don't know, I don't like it, really, although overall it looks fine in the finished drawing. I should probably have added the mouth earlier, because it's really important in how to draw the cheeks, and like I added some dimples. And uh, the one on the right of the drawing is misplaced with how I draw the mouth. So I'll move it later. And I realized also that the nose was not uh, aligned with the rest of the face. 
and I don't know when, but I'm gonna move it to using the liquify tool. That. Mm. Mm, overall, I try to make sure everything is blended. I don't want any harsh edge when I switch back on the saturation. And yeah, the drawing in itself took me a little under two hours. And uh, I think it's safe to say that more than half of it was spent on the skin. And I mean, the human face is so complex and there are so many things happening. While the hair, well, I did spend some time on it, but it was way faster. And yeah, I also added the brows which are also very important. And I am finally done with the skin. So I started shading my hair. Uh, I decided that the light source would be coming from the right. So hair left. And I try to keep that in mind uh, while I shade the hair. And I also uh, kept in mind the flower crown that I would add later. So I didn't spend too much time shading uh, the hair right above the ears. Since I knew it would be fully covered. And I added some details by... Well, basically adding uh, flicking my pen and adding some hair texture I guess and I just remembered that I wanted to add flyaways and I completely forgot about that but uh, yeah I refined the shape of the hair of the strands and stuff adds the texture I want make sure I have some light color and some dark color and then I shade the back of the hair uh, the hair coming just under the chin we can see I made on a different layer so we just draw under the skin And I was actually not done with the skin, apparently. Uh, there was just some little details I wanted to fix. Blend some more. Refine the nose. And then it's finally time to add in the flowers. Uh, since I used a pretty light tone for the, well, the skin, and a metal tone for the hair, I used the one of the darkest colors for the flowers. And then I add some lighter color for the details, I guess to make them look not so flat. Now I really did not spend a lot of, a lot of time on the flowers and uh, well I do think it kind of shows. But once again what I really wanted to experiment was like drawing uh, well using different colors and uh, yeah, I didn't actually use them, but I just wanted to see what it could do if I just used uh, saturations, not saturations, values instead of color to shade. 
So yeah, the flowers were just some sort of composition uh, thing. But I really wanted to see what the skin tone looked. And well, yeah, I was getting kind of tired too at the end. I did add some highlights with the lighter color I had. And I added some less detail, uh, the earrings. And then I put all the layers in the folder and I realized that the red line that usually appears when I'm moving a layer was, uh, well, the same value as what was beneath. So I did not know where I was putting my layers. And here's the finished result. Uh, black and white and then the color. I'm really happy with how it turned out like the colors are amazing. I think Thank you for watching uh, If you want to see me attempt more challenges, let me know Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next video